Hey guys, welcome to another episode of First Impressions here at Marauder. I'm Matt, and today we'll be checking out Dragon, which is a single-player, first-person mystery uh, set in the 1920s in Norway, I believe, which uh, is going to be extremely interesting, I think. It's, it's not really like anything I've played that I know of, albeit I'm not really quite sure what to expect yet, which is why I'm pretty excited to take a jump in and show you guys what we've got here and decide together if it's something we think is worth you checking out with your hard-earned money. So that's what we're going to go ahead and do right now. So we're going to go ahead and start a new game. I really like the music and I like the art style so far. Oh, and it just faded to this black and white. Wasn't expecting that either. Um, so I do have the music and things a little bit louder than I typically do on this channel, as you know, but that's mostly so that you guys can hear the dialogue and the music since this game uh, seems like it's going to be pretty uh, interesting and atmospheric, and I want to make sure you can take all that in as well as me. So let's go ahead and check it out. Day one. It's got that silent film look, the cigarette burns, very stylish so far, and again, the really good music. <coughs> the water's cold. It's a fjord. You're not going swimming. Boo. You're such a wet blanket, teddy bear. You know I don't like it when you call Edward. me- Edward. Edward Charles Harden, Esquire. Will you promise to behave on land? Guess I'm a lawyer. Can I always? Lissy, promise. Oh, piffle and phonus balonus, Teddy. You ought to know better than to ask. Yes, I'll behave. I'll be a proper young lady. I shan't run or climb things or laugh too loud or call anyone old bean. Aside from you. How kind of you. So, do you think we'll find your Betty in, uh, what did you call this village? Gravewick? Gravewick? And she said Gravewick? the name Betty. Gravewick? Edward knows in his heart that his sister is here, though it's been it's months since he last heard from Elizabeth. I don't much care for it. Oh, I can look at both. Edward wonders yet again what drew Elizabeth to this remote place Perhaps so very Betty far from New York. Perhaps found herself a burly Viking warrior and went native. Put horns on her hat. Gravewick. Yes, I do. Oh, I can here? select which one to talk What's about. What's so special about Greywoak? She never said. But knowing my sister, something drew her here. But how can you know? I just do. In her letter, she wrote about... But that's months ago. She could have gone anywhere. Without writing or telegraphing her editor in New York, she wouldn't do that. Betty's... Oh, the cat's pajamas, the bee's knees, little Miss... Alice, you're talking about my sister. Fine. I'm sorry. Elizabeth Sadarb. We all love her dearly. And it's in there. Edward. We will find her. Betty's fine. Why, we'll see her as soon as we get to shore. She'll shower you with kisses and berate you for coming all this way from Hanover, Massachusetts to the middle of absolutely nowhere Scandinavia way. Just chase no her way. down. Everything will be Jake, old fruit. <sighs> Is that it? Is that Groove Woke? It looks so peaceful. Wow. And beautiful. And so desolate, like a place built for ghosts. Finally. I don't think I could do this for much longer. Can't you row any faster? I'm getting frightfully bored. Come on, How listen. about you take over, Alice? Yeah. <laughs> you slay me, Teddy, old bean. Was that thunder? Still distant. The boat will be in safe harbor by the time the weather arrives. So you say. But I say put your back into it. Because we're sitting ducks out here. Quack, quack. She's a fiery one. I like Alice, or Lissy as he calls her. And I'm Edward slash Teddy, and Betty slash Elizabeth is missing. Everyone has a name and a nickname. But I am a big fan of how the dialogue lets you... They kind of so ramble quiet. on while you decide Where what you want to do. Where is everyone? Probably working. I know it's a foreign concept to you, but that's something normal people do. Hardy har har. Got him. The Fretland farm is up the hill somewhere. Up where? <laughs> I believe it's that farmhouse. There. All the way at the top. Hot dog! Let's ankle! Hold on. Let me read the letter from Mrs. Fretland first. I'll meet you up there, old sport. I want to explore. Last one's a skunk's tail. Be careful. Go ahead. The ground's muddy. You could slip and fall. See you in two shakes. Why does she talk like that? It feels like she's trying to be sarcastic, but it really would have been of this time, the 1920s. Dear Mr. Harton, you 
would like to extend an invitation to visit our home. Trouble to hear of your sister's disappearance. No news to share. You'll find our farm on top of the hill. I hope I got that right. Look forward to seeing you here in October. Yours faithfully, Anna Fretland. Well, I'm here. Where are you? It's interesting how he just reads the highlights. Grovik, Betty? And why did you pick this forlorn hole under the mountains? I have the fattest thumbs with weird little fingernails. <sighs> so you can kind of look through it. So sprach Zarathustra. Whoa. Teddy, are you coming? I'm almost there. On my way. Righto. Step to it, teddy bear. Lissy. I'm up at the farm. Oh, cool. It's a very pretty game. I mean, look at that. The autumn leaves, the rocky hillside, the quaint little town. I'm going to try to break the rules and go in places I'm not supposed to. Nope. Alright. Well, that was short-lived. Can I go up this really steep, like, mountain biker's path? Or my old man knee is not ready for it. I don't know how old I am. Oh, I tripped. Alright, fine. Coming around. It's not what Alice would do. Is this so I can take a rest? Storm's coming. My assistant is just just taking a break. Waiting. Oh, yeah. Storm's getting closer. <laughs> All right, let's go. Pick up your briefcase. I have a feeling this is going to be a very slow-paced game, and that's all right with me. If it has stylish burn, there's our credits. Dragon. I hope I hear someone say that because it's dragon, dragon, dragon. I'm going with dra dragon for now, but. Let me know in the comments if I've messed that up, or if we hear it. Look at this, though. I don't know if the up, down, up, down stepping is necessary. It's a little, a little jarring. God, I get sleepy. Listen to that breath. Where are you? Oh my god, you're way up there, Alice. How long was I reading that letter? Seven years? Teddy, this way. Where's a sprint button in this game? We should take a look at the control scheme, actually. Is there one? There is a run. Shift. It's not working, if anyone was wondering. Journal, zoom, and Lissy. We knew all of that except run. Shift? No shift. I should take this. He's huffing and puffing. I don't want him to have a heart attack before we find Alice. That would be a plot twist, I will say. Just staring at the tree. Alright. And the climb continues. Our flag's at half staff here in Norway today. Really is a lovely game. I mean, quite pretty. Quite a house as well. I hope these people have some more info about Betty now. Granted, Alice has probably heard their life story by now. Sorry I'm late. Good timing. I guess that's why they keep you paced so you can see the full credits. It's. More of an interactive credit, I guess. So long? I'm not 17. Nor are you 70. <coughs> She's What's right. What's to your step, old sport? Stop calling me Did weird shit flag? like that. It's at half-mast. Someone died. So this is it, huh? Nice digs. But seriously, where is everyone? Let's see. There was no sign of people on the fjord, starting to creep but he was out. focused on keeping the oars in the water. You find silence odd, but these are hardworking people with busy lives. 
The weather is getting worse. So Edward bad. thinks it wouldn't surprise him if the villagers have, have sought shelter. Vanished. It's weird how they refer to him in third person, but it's me. Perhaps everyone's indoors. The rain's picking up. You first, old bean. Hello? Anyone there? Mr. Fretland? Mrs. Fretland? This is Edward Charles Harden, the American. We've exchanged letters. So I am an American. Well, maybe they went on holiday and left the door open. We're just in Norway. Give it a shake and a rattle. I can't just barge into their home. Why does she it's talk not a crime that way? If you're invited. All right, fine. I'm coming in. This is uh, This is Mr. Harden. Hello? Is anyone home? This house is as empty as a bird's nest in December. Hey, you want to check out the upstairs? Certainly not. I'm going to sit down and wait for the Fretlands. Maybe there are extra comfortable chairs upstairs. <laughs> well, I didn't want to go upstairs anyway. It's creepy. There must be a sitting room on this floor. Very tight foyer. Oh, this is nice. Charmingly rustic. The Boston Beaumont would pay a pretty penny for this setup. How cozy it is. I thought foreigners lived differently. This is almost like an American home. People are people wherever you go. Thanks, Proust. There's the stave church. Do you think that's where they've all gone? Maybe there's a very popular funeral. The flag was at half mast, but no sign of life out there. Look, family pictures. They must be the, uh, what did you call them? The Fretlands. Right. Anna and John? Johan. This is honestly not what I'd pictured. They're very presentable. Not at all like turnip farmers. They're not turnip farmers. That must be Johan Fretland, master of the house. What makes you think he's the master of anything? It's 1923, Teddy old boy. Women can vote. <laughs> Wait. Is that... Are they... It, who's... They're all twins. All of them. That's Johan and Anna Fretland. There are two of each, Edward. Two of each. <laughs> Frederick and Margaret. <laughs> twins marrying twins. <laughs> My mind's reeling. This is just too adorable. May 26th, 1899. That's great. We'll be celebrating their silver anniversary next year. The books are all in English. Isn't that a bit odd? Mrs. Fretland is Scottish, though she grew up in Olesund. Have you been secretly communicating with Johann's winsome wife, Edward Dearest? Certainly not. She was the one who wrote me, because Mr. Fretland's I English isn't as... I was only joking. Lighten up, old sport. I'm Don't uptight. A pill. The random old sport interjection is getting a little weird. I'm sure she's meant to be sarcastic and sort of making fun of proper speaking. But it's sort of like, all right, it's really coming down. How about a quick run in the rain? You can't be serious. You're already a wet blanket, teddy bear. It's not like you'll get any wetter. That's what she said. What are you looking at there? A book. Strange place for a book. Unless it was a terrible book that deserved a good burning. What's the title? The cover's charred. Christmas 1922 to Ruth from Simon. Why would someone burn this? Like I said, maybe it was a terrible book. Is Simon one of the Freddy Landers? <clears throat> I don't think so. They only have the one daughter. Hmm. Where do you think they've gone? The Fretlands. The Fretlands, the Hansons, the Jensens, all of them. I'm sure they'll be back soon. It's like a dead land. As though its soul has departed. Oh, those boys look proud as peacocks. What does it say there? Groovy? Grooven. Groovy. The mine. Maybe that's where everyone is. Digging for precious jewels in the Stygian Abyss. From what I learned of this place during the brief stay in Olesund, the iron mine shut down 20 years ago. Hmm. Still no sign of anyone anywhere. I'm interested to see if we spend much of the time in this house or if we explore the whole town and kind of how that works itself out. Tragic accident befalls the Fretland Brothers Mining Company. 
What happened? The mine collapsed, killing three workers, including Arna Fretland, Frederick and Johann's younger brother. That's awful. How old was he? Uh, 19. Operations were suspended after the accident. Foreign investors out of Frederick Fretland's mining company. Dire financial consequences for Fretland, who must have had a difficult time after his brother Johann Fretland pulled out earlier this year. So mining accident. The timing is curious. Like he knew something was about to go awry. Well, what's the third one? That, that's an interesting note. Johann Fretland exits Fretland Brothers Mining Company. So the brothers parted ways? Johan sold his share to focus on farming. Well, that must have put a damper on After our relationship. Oh well, no, it was before May. <coughs> so he left. I got it. Okay. So Johan left before the accident in July, and then the company went under. Or at least was about to. It is now defunct. Alright. I assume that's the other twin. There I am. Harry Potter. Oof, that's a grim sight, old bean. Why they have him look like this? I'm exhausted. Cool, they let you see him. And soaked to the bone. Let's get you to bed. We'll wait for the Fretlands. It's only courteous. Courteous. I like this pair. I like that she talks with you the whole time. You're not just Betty. exploring by yourself. Have you gone screwy again, Teddy? That's not Betty. Her that's. Scarf. Mm. I know it anywhere. It doesn't look like anything to me. It she just bought it looks in like... Bloomingdale's the Christmas before last. When she came home that year, she showed it off, dancing around the sitting room until I got dizzy watching her. I think you're misremembering. She couldn't make it home that year. Again. No, I'm. You're wrong. I'm sure she was there. What? Whatever. It's not like you pay any attention to me when Betty's around. I might just as well be a ghost. It's weird that that Betty's his sister and not like a lover. That was very sort of like romantic sounding. And secondly, I'm curious for this whole time, you've been under the impression that Eddie, uh, Eddie, Teddy or Edward is sort of really the collected one. But to have him so confidently say he remembers Betty wearing this and have Lissy question it now has you almost questioning the perspective of the narrator, which is a nice touch. Look. It is her scarf. It even smells like her perfume. Shalimar. But what if that's not... She's here. I'm finally going to find her. That's... That's great, and Edward. Left really. Evidence. I... I wouldn't want you to get your hopes up. I mean, where's everyone gone to? Something's not right. What's I'm happening? You. Teddy? Edward, what's wrong? I... Lightheaded, that's all. You're having another spell. You know what happens when you exert yourself. Hmm. What's going on with him? <laughs> A lot of questions so far. That's an order from your commander. I'm very yes. interested. Fine. I just need to, to catch my breath. So we did need to sit. Just for a moment. I want you to lie down. Lie down and close your eyes. It's been a strenuous day. What with the rowing and the dragging of the suitcase up the hill? Well, what if the fret... I'll keep an eye out. I promise. If they come home, I'll wake you. Now, lie down. Close your eyes. Breathe deeply. I'm just... How old is she supposed to be? And what's our relationship? I know she's my ward, but what does that mean? In terms of our professional relationship. Elizabeth? Is that you? Am I still lying? Let me up. <sighs> Betty? Lissy? Lissy, are you here? I also meant to mention this at the beginning, but I was curious before we jumped into this review, uh, was doing some research beforehand, about whether or not it was a horror game, and the answer is no, it is not, at least in no proof that I could find. But it certainly has sort of like a bit of a tension to it. 
and uh, and mystery, which I guess mystery and horror are closely related, but definitely different. Um, but I'm excited to see how that unfurls as we proceed. Where are you? Where are you, Lissy? She always. Where are you? Oh, oh my God! Hey, who's there? Maybe it is a horror <laughs> game. Elizabeth. Wait. Where are you, Lissy? That was spooky, y'all. Right on cue. Maybe there is horror. Lissy, there's someone outside. It, it might be Betty. Are you here, Lissy? Who's out there? Hello? Betty? Lissy? Footprint? I'm not alone. But what kind of track is that? Look at that, please. <laughs> I mean that there is atmosphere for sure. Mmm boy. Alright. Things took a very interesting turn there. Lissy, my dear. What do you know, girl? I can hear you. They had me just sprinting off into the nothingness. It took me four years to get up this hill and I'm getting down it in five seconds. Down go, go, is easier. Ah, just a bird. Who goes there? Wait! I'm going for it. I have no weapon. I'm in a foreign town that I know nothing about, in which I have no host. Nothing here. Uh, I guess I have to tell it to climb. Someone there? Not an action game, if you're wondering. I definitely think it's going to be a walking sim slash puzzle game. There's a fucking sheep goat. Sheep goat. Alice! Betty, is that you? Are you there, Betty? Oh, I'm getting dragged. Look out! I can't look around. Shit. Oh, there we go. My Harry Potter glasses. Don't be broken. His vision really wasn't terrible. So did I fall or get dragged? Elizabeth, are you there? I was under the impression I got dragged, but he doesn't seem concerned. What do we have here? It's like a lobster trap. The boat, Edward. Where's our boat? Lissy. Hmm. Something shady's going on. <clears throat> Did you see her? Did you see Betty? What? Betty? No. No, I... Our boat, it's gone. The boat? What? How? Maybe you didn't secure it properly. I pulled it up. I don't know. I thought I tied it securely, but... Where did you go? Out. For a walk. It stopped raining and... I think... Betty... It was Betty, I... It was her. It must have been her. I saw her face in the window and... And she vanished into the dark towards the sea. You really didn't see anyone. I haven't seen a single soul. Are you sure it was her and yes. not... I... I mean... I saw her face and... It looked like her. Well, if it was her, why did she run away? Uh, I don't... I don't know. Uh, it's getting dark. Back to the house. And tomorrow... Tomorrow's another day. Take care. We'll figure it out. Right now, let's get you cleaned up. Look at you. You've got mud all over yourself. And then you really need to sleep. You must be exhausted. Come on. I guess at this point the family can't be mad at me because they never showed. But I imagine they're up to no good, more importantly. We've made it to day two in this silent film. 
And there is much intrigue to be had after day one, I would say. But we're not exactly sure what to expect just yet. But I will tell you this. That is where we're going to wrap up this first impressions video about Dragon. I don't know about you, but I think it's pretty easy to say I will be jumping in uh, to play more of this game to see how this story ends. Uh, with that said, obviously it's hard to give the entire story a review as a first impression video. We more so are meant to look at this from a gameplay perspective. Uh, but I don't want to. I don't want to give it any kind of unjust story review yet because I don't know how it concludes. But I can tell you from what I've seen, I really like it, and the presentation is fantastic. I think it's something where if you were pulled in by this so far, the idea of this sort of picturesque, idyllic coastal town in Norway and unraveling this mystery of, of uh, Teddy's missing sister and Lissy helping him sort of being the outgoing spunky sidekick, why wouldn't you want to see this all the way through to its end? Uh, the story starts off kind of slow, I think. You know, you're not exactly sure why you're there. You have the long walks up the hill. The game has a very slow feeling of movement, but I think once you let yourself settle into it and accept, you know what, this isn't an action game. I'm meant to be this sort of tired, somewhat perhaps sickly character, and you kind of accept that you are also constrained by Teddy's limitations yourself, you kind of get into the role and almost begin feeling like him and experiencing it from that uh, immersive standpoint and I think that helps sell the game that much more. I uh, would highly recommend this one if, if you're into walking sims and sort of mystery point and click puzzle type games. It's not fair to call it point and click but you understand what I'm talking about. The kind of decision based games. If you like things perhaps like Life is Strange as well as maybe things that lean a little bit more horror even though it seems like this one won't lean as much that way but like a, a layers of fear type game where you're meant to explore and uncover sort of the lore and story as you go uh, in a very sort of hyper realistic uh, visual world I would recommend checking out this game Dragon comes out uh, this Wednesday on Steam so if you want to grab it it's there uh, as well as uh, other platforms let me go ahead and confirm that for you but I want to make sure you know where you can grab this one uh, yeah right now it looks like PC only uh, but you'll be able to grab uh, drag in there so be sure to check it out um, let me know in the comments what you think if you get to play it uh, and i look forward to hearing your thoughts i hope you enjoyed this video if you did please go ahead and hit the like button if you want to see more from us hit subscribe we have new videos every single day reviews let's plays compilations walkthroughs all kinds of stuff coming coming at you and be sure to check us out over on twitch at twitch.com marauder as well thank you guys so much for watching and we hope to see you again next time